All right, we're back here broadcasting live in the Tom's River Auto Group studio right here in Northfield. You know, Q, I love my Tiguan. Uh, yeah. With the Tom's River Volkswagen, I got myself a new Tiguan. Yeah. Go up to see Huey up there. He'll Huey, take care okay. of you. Tell him the locker room set you. Okay, absolutely. But they take care of you up there. Yeah, they know they got yep. great service. They give me a, like, I'm, I'm getting some things done with my car. Yeah. I get, they gave me a loaner car. Good, nice. I love the loaner car. Yeah, I want to give that one back. Nice. <laughs> All right. This is our, our, our first guest today. A great story, man. A great kid. His mom and dad, Joe and Denise, uh, we, we beach with them on 25th Street. Now, I've okay. watched this kid grow up since he's been two years old. Really? Yeah, he, he works for Randazzo's. Okay. Joe Pop's got him delivering pizza. He's a good kid. That's great. Quality. Local uh, kid, listen, good kid. his mom and dad raised him right. But not only is he a good kid, he's a great goalie. Really? He's okay. up for the Hobie Baker Award, which is college hockey's equivalent to the Heisman Trophy. That's pretty good. And we got him right can, here. Can I ask him if he stands on his head? Yeah. <laughs> can I Let's ask? see if he knows Let's how see, that yeah. terminology yeah, wanna, Okay. Like not, only, like, not only is he a great goalie, see if he's a, like a, a historian of the game, okay? Let's go to the Maserati, the Mainline Sports Hotline, and welcome into the locker room a good friend of ours, TJ Semptonfelter. Good morning, TJ. Good morning, TJ. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Billy. Thank you for having me. TJ, I'm just uh, – I'm kind of in awe here. Yeah. I just so – watch – knowing your parents the way I do, your mom and dad are great people – but watching you grow up from two like two years old playing in the sand, and now you're standing on your head yeah. at uh, at Arizona State. You're a Sun Devil. You you start off at Northeastern. Of course, last year he won the beat. He won the MVP of the Bean Pot as the best goalie. Okay, uh, that's a feather you kept. But then you transfer out to uh, Arizona State. Uh, TJ, tell us a little bit about that environment playing hockey where when it's hot out. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely quite the transition coming from Boston. <laughs> you know, obviously now I, I go to the rink in shorts and a t-shirt during the week, and it's definitely quite different. But um, yeah, ever, ever since I made the transition, it's just proven to be the right um, decision by myself and my family. And I've been lucky that they've been supporting me, you know, ever since day one when I first put the skates on. And uh, and yeah, I've been loving it out here. I, when the coaches first reached out, I just knew it was going to be the place for me. I got to tell you, you know, I played hockey, and I know that moms and dads know how expensive and oh, how much time invested in the travel, invested in yeah, travel yeah, the and club everything. teams and everything. Yeah, Crazy. I mean, like, you know, Especially TJ, goalie equipment is, like, crazy right, expensive. Right, he's going to lug all that yeah. stuff around. But, TJ, you know, growing up in the summer in Ocean City, I mean, it, when when you were little, you were always in the sand playing and everything. And now you get older, you got you to take off and go play in the summertime, and mom and dad would take you here and take you there. They they invested a lot into uh, into where you are right now. Yeah, I've been, like I said, I've been really fortunate to have their support throughout my entire career. I mean, you know, you look back and as a kid, you don't really realize all those sacrifices that, you know, not only you as a kid have to make, um, but also the kind of sacrifices that your parents make, right? Driving you to these games that are 40 yeah. hour, even three, four hours away, um, you know, early morning skates and, and all that. And, you know, I'm really thankful for everything that they've done to me. And I guess as you, you grow up and you mature, you kind of learn um, just exactly the commitment that it takes from your parents to, to not only have a successful kid, but um, continue throughout the hockey chain. So I'm very fortunate to have them in my corner. Um, and, you know, now it's paying dividends. So In Arizona State, um, your team's not having a great year, but, you are you know, you got nominated to be a finalist for the Hobie Baker Award. Does that, has that hit you yet? I mean, you're, that's like the Heisman Trophy Award. Yeah, it's, it's definitely an honor to be recognized um, for those awards. Obviously, during the season, I just like to focus on, you know, each game, taking it a game at a time. Um, but, yeah, it is, it is great to get that recognition. Um, and, and, you know, I think our team struggled a bit um, after with some injuries, and I think that's kind of been a huge thing that's hurt us this year. Um, we took down some huge names like North Dakota, Minnesota. We beat Boston College, so – you know, we clearly have the talent to do it. I just think we ran into a bit of the injury bug, and um, that's kind of hurt us down this stretch. Um, but it's definitely something to learn from and something I'll take into next year as well, just, you know, making sure that our guys are healthy and, and um, you know, having a deep lineup. So I know the coaches are definitely noting that. We're talking with T.J. Semptonfelter. He's a uh, summer resident here in Ocean City. He plays goalie for Arizona State. He's a Sun Devil, and he's up for. He's a finalist for the Hobie Baker. Go to HobieBaker.com uh, to vote for T.J. Fancy get involved with in yeah. this kid. Go to T. Go to Hobie Baker. It's H uh, O B E Y Baker dot com. Hobie Baker dot com, and uh, you have to uh, sign up. Uh, put, you know, put a submit a password, but after that, then you can vote every single day. Fans are allowed to get in to vote. That's pretty cool, TJ. 
Yeah, I appreciate all the support that I've gotten already. I mean, it's awesome that it's completely based off of fan voting. So, uh, you know, every vote helps here. Um, but, yeah, I appreciate it. Make sure you guys go and vote right after this. It'll help me out a ton. Uh, not only that, like last summer, my sister tried to fix you up with our uh, my niece, my great niece, Hannah. And uh, you, you need to look into that uh, coming back. Yeah. Here. Um. <laughs> Especially. So, hey, how about this too, TJ? I called Craig. Your dad's always after after me to you know tell you know promote TJ to promote TJ. So I called Craig Barubi, the head coach of the uh, St. Louis Blues. I said, do yourself a favor, get rid of Biddington. All right, and then we got a new up and coming goalie. Grab TJ. All right. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny enough. I actually met uh, Barubi and Biddington when they were in town to play the Coyotes. They. Uh, in order to go on the ice, the visiting team kind of walks right through our locker room. So yeah. uh, Ruby walked by me. I said hello, and then uh, I talked to Bennington as well on his way out. So it was cool to get to meet those guys. But, yeah, hey, tell them to reach out. It would be awesome. Yeah. Hey, TJ, did you ever think in your wild – like, let's look back. I mean, I grew up sitting on the beach with you guys in the summer. Did you ever think that you – I mean, like – Brad Cross, my co-host right here, is a three-time All Big Ten linebacker at Iowa. But, Gets drafted. Did you guys ever? Did you ever feel like when you were in high school, this was your destiny? Well, well you don't think you, you, that's your goal, right? I mean, your your goal since probably when TJ started putting skates on when he was you know first six seven years old, right? Playing in the NHL. That's that was his goal, right? And you have to have that goal. My goal was playing the league. Was that that's your what, TJ? Your was that your? I don't really remember hearing you talk yeah. about. It. I mean, I know you invested so much time in playing hockey. You do it because you love it. But did you ever think you'd be like up for the Hobie Baker Award? <laughs> you know, it was always my dream, right? It was always something I was working towards. And I think kind of what makes my story so special is there was never anyone saying, "Hey, like you know, you're going to do this." And, and I think that makes it so much more special to my, my family. believers in it. They won. Everybody else was dead. Um, you know, it's amazing just as you, you look through my journey, just kind of how I've had to prove people wrong. I right. Being yeah. a smaller goalie. Well, um, they always I say, they always say, like, you're, you can't run that fast, yeah, you no. can't jump that high, you can't hit that far. You have to be so self you had, Like you, TJ just said, he, yeah. he was like, he believed in himself. You have to. You have to. TJ, where'd you go to high school? I went to the Lawrenceville School in uh, Lawrenceville, New Jersey. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, but you yeah. would have gone to, where would you, if you if you went locally, like, you guys are live in Marlton, right? Yeah, so Cherokee, Cherokee High School is okay. a local public high school, but I was also looking at Bishop Eustis, which is right next door, and then uh, yeah. St. Augustine. Yeah, well, the prep, so. yes. But see, TJ's mom and dad, TJ's mom's a teacher. Okay. So she knows the value of an education. Yeah. They want so, their kid to be educated. Yeah, educated. That's why you would send them to the prep or yeah. Bishop Eustis prep, yeah, prep school because they got really good hockey teams. Right. Yeah. So, TJ, I want, you to be, I want you to be honest with me, TJ. Do uh, Arizona State football players, you know, athletes at Arizona State, do they have to go to class? You know oh, I mean? yeah. Or- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We do. We really do. And it's funny, actually. Like, So the, the Arizona State Business School is actually ranked higher than uh, my previous Northeastern business. Really? School. And it's it's funny because it's, it's sort of like it was the best of both worlds for me, right? Because, uh, you know, obviously the hockey situation worked out phenomenally as you mentioned and then uh, now i'm also getting a great business degree at wp carry which is a well-renowned um business school so uh, like i said i just ever since coach reached out i just, it felt like i made the right decision and you know i've never looked back so i've, I've been really happy with everything here in the desert and uh, yeah, but we do have to go to school. So <laughs> times have changed. You didn't have to go to school, did you? Uh, you didn't uh, have to go to class. Q, you told me. You didn't. No, no comment. Ah! <laughs> no comment. No comment. Yeah, no comment. I did. We're I talking with TJ Septenfelder. He's an Ocean City resident. In the summer, he's up for the Hobie Baker Award as the uh, as a finalist for the Hobie Baker Award, which is the equivalent to the Heisman Trophy in college football. Pretty good. All right, go to HobieBaker dot com and vote for TJ as many times as you want. TJ, did, I mean. Cal McCarr won this. There's some big names that won this award. Cal McCarr, you win this as a feather in your cap, brother. Yeah. Yeah, it's, like I said, this is an unbelievable honor. Uh, I mean, just to be recognized in the running for it, it's huge. And uh, the part that, that is really special to me is that it's completely based off of fan voting, right? So, uh, you know, the more people that vote, that be- the better it is for me. And um, and I really appreciate all the support I've already gotten from, from local people, people on the East Coast in Jersey and down in Ocean City. So, um, so, so are you going to be delivering pizza this uh, summer for Joe Pop, Joe Randazzo? 
hope yeah. you don't let me come in again. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> just make sure you bring your trophy behind. I know you're going to win it. We're going to get all yeah. the fans yeah, to vote for you. Can you imagine going out showing up with a trophy you know like what, that? Yo, you know how you they get, have get the, some more yeah. tips? You ever see like Domino's put that thing yeah. on the top of the yeah. car? You, you're going to put, put the, the Hobie Baker car or, your, or the trunk or the roof of your car. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, while I'm delivering. <laughs> I'll drop off a pizza and a Hobie Baker. Here's a pizza and an autograph. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, TJ, you know, that's Joe, Joe Randazzo, the, the, Joe and Mary and the great people down there. They, they, they think the world of you. I know that for a fact. They're so proud of you. And I know your mom and dad are, I know we are, and uh, I'm so happy for you. We're going to get everybody to vote for you as much as possible. O- voting's till what? March 5th, right? Yeah. Plenty of time left. Hobiebaker.com. TJ, listen, man, keep it up. Keep up the good work. We're going to be following your, uh, your progress as a hockey, collegiate hockey player, but also I know there's bigger and better things for you. Uh, we're pulling for you, brother. Thank you so much for having me, Billy. Thank you guys for, for taking the time. I appreciate it. All right, there he is. One. TJ Semptonfelder on the Maserati, the Mainline Sports Hotline. I'm going to get emotional.